Okay, I'm going to show you how to make animated characters become ragdolls um, using three different add-ons. One is a paid add-on called like Ragdoll Helper, and I'll have links in the bottom. Um, the other one allows you to see your constraints, visualize. So I'm going to, um, I find the best way to work is to create like a base model on one layer and then copy them um, into your scene. So first we need to clean up this armature because um, the ragdoll has to be inside the body. So like this head, or I'm just putting things in the body, that's fine and those toes are fine um, because I'm gonna not have those selected for making hitboxes. Okay, so now that we have our bones selected that we want to have object mode, they're still selected with an edit mode mode. I'm gonna type in ragdoll tools, generate hitboxes, and if you go into use selected bones only, Just adding some thickness, I hope. Select hit boxes. Um, I wonder if you can. Okay. Okay, so I kind of made a mistake. This could work, but let's um, let's just start over. So I have this. I'm in object mode. Ragdoll tools generate hitboxes. Add a little resolution. There. So we have some good thickness. Those could be thicker, but the legs are pretty good. Um, I think it's good if they're not touching so much. Okay, I would say that that's pretty decent. Um, so now these are like rigid bodies, but they're not going to be connected. And plus, um, we don't even have like I'm just going to make a so yeah, they're not connected. Um, so to do that, you select uh, Shift G to select group, select group, and you want to do hitbox group, and then you go into the Ragdoll Tools menu, and you generate rigid body constraints. I'm going to make those slightly smaller, and here's where you can um, set your limits. But this is where that um, constraints. The, the constraints view uh, viewer comes in handy because you can see you can visualize and so the knees I know on the X angle knees are more likely to bend uh, oh yeah so go to the ragdoll tools menu set rigid body constraints and then you can so the knees don't bend that way, they bend like that way. And they don't really twist on the Y. Well, 
and they don't really twist on the Z. Okay. So now if we were to There you can see him bend. Anyways, um, now just to save time, I'm not going to go through all this, but it does seem like fixing the spine can be kind of helpful, or else your guy will be really crazy. So I have him selected, set rigid body constraints. F6, and I think the spine is more likely to bend that, that way, like leaning forward, um, and those, set rigid body constraints, doesn't bend back, it will bend that way. Okay. So that's a that's a start. Maybe do the hips real quick. We don't need to do it. Okay, so step two, we made our hit bar, bring our model back by unhiding her. And let's make the armature pose. Um, now we need to make the hit boxes follow the bones because there was kind of an animation. So shift G to select group, select hit boxes, and then make sure you have one active. Go into the rigid and I'm going to click follow bone, right, uh, and copy to selected. And now all those hit boxes are following the bones. Um, if we go to the action editor, I'm going <clears> to <throat> push that down. Go to the NLA editor, push that down, and just repeat this animation. So now we have kind of our base model. It has hit boxes following the bones, um, but no physics will affect it at this point. I'm going to move this to layer one. Um, and let's make. Hmm, let's make something for our. Um, object to get hit by. So I'm going to insert a keyframe, a rotation, and we want on the z-axis to just... Mm, actually, we can clear that keyframe. Um, I'm going to have this an empty drive list. So, I would really, truly love to it, Mr. Turkey Face. Parent it. And I'm just going to spin this. Insert single keyframe generator. Okay. So here's our obstacle course. We'll make this a rigid body, active, animated. And we'll have our character run into this thing. So I'm going to make, so here's our scene. I'm going to make a path. And it's best to edit the path, I mean to change the path in edit mode because I think it's good to have the origin in the center. So our character is going to like run to the center and probably get hit. <clears throat> Kind of curve them in. Just a little trick if you want your character to run along the curve, you can select all those points and kind of tilt it a bit. Okay. 
So the last thing, if you want your character to run along a path, select the armature, go into edit mode, add a new bone, and you're going to parent the root bone to this. So here's our root bone. We're going to pan it and keep offset. So now, if you're in pose mode and you move this bone, the whole thing moves. So now our base is ready. Okay. So, we, we're safe. I'm just going to duplicate it. Oop, that didn't seem to work. Okay. We're in object mode. I guess I'll save it. Okay. It could be because that's in pose mode. So now select her. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so now we'll move it to this layer. And I'm going to now go back to pose mode. Select that bone. Create a rigid body constraint. Follow the path. And we'll animate the path. So if you go here, it's going. If Y. Let's do. Uh, follow curve. Y is backwards, so do negative Y to make it forward. So that looks good enough. Okay, that seems to time up pretty perfectly. But maybe... be better okay I just offset it a bit okay so if you were to have multiple ones of these so I think that'll work but before I bake the bones what I do is like however many I want in one group I'm gonna hide this let's go back to object mode on that and we'll just duplicate it and then I'm just going to offset this position a bit. But you don't want them to be the same animation, so I'm going to go to NLA Editor and just uh, shift that one a bit. So now we have two. Okay. Boom, boom. So now we have two. I'm going to select the hitboxes and go to the ragdoll helper and bake the hitbox animation right now we have the bo we had the bones like following we had the hitboxes following the bones but now what we need to do is make them not follow the bones so all those hitboxes are selected i'm going to uncheck one and then say copy to selected and now our ragdolls will just fall but if you click animated, copy to selected, now you have your hitboxes animated. So we want this, this first hitbox. Maybe just work on the first one. I'm going to deselect this one. This is the only one. And this is where our next plugin comes in. So right now it's animated. I'll set a keyframe and um, right here's our new our other plugin or add a keyframe to selected. Right here we will uncheck it. Copy to selected so they're all unchecked and then right click insert to select it. So let's see what happens. Yeah. 
So that one got hit. Um, if we go to groups, let's just hide these. Boom. And then maybe... Yeah, we'll see it's already baked, so... So it doesn't look the greatest all the time, but if it's um, rendered with motion blur, it'll look fine, I think. And just for the heck of it, let's go back to our hitbox group. Um, deselect this first one, and we'll just have this one um, fall apart. So insert selected, uncheck them all, copy to selected, insert selected. So that one's hit, and that one just falls. Woo! Add some thickness and make sure the normals are. Now what I also like to do, if we go to the hitbox group, let's just select one, and I like to increase the friction, copy to selected, maybe increase the bounciness, copy to selected. Okay, now if I were to do another like set of characters, I would focus on this, I would duplicate this path, and move the duplicate to a new layer, because those ones are already baked. And then here's our base, duplicate, move to the third. Okay. Go to pose mode. Follow path. Follow curve animate. Unfortunately, the hitboxes don't seem to be following. Usually that works. Um, so that was a little um, a little glitch with the follow bone thing went away in the physics. So I just had to um, start from like a new model. That's never happened before. But um, yeah, here's what it looks like. I yeah.